Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be going over tracking users without cookies or cookie list tracking. Cookie list tracking is useful for companies who have privacy or regulation constraints or have their own system of tracking users. Posthog uses cookies to track some basic information about users across sessions, allows us to identify them and different data about them. But there's lots of options in Posthog to allow you to turn this off and just use other options. So here we are, we have a basic React app. You'll see in local storage, we don't have any information saved. In cookies, we don't have any information saved. This is because we haven't installed Posthog yet. So we're gonna go back to our React app and we're gonna add Posthog and we'll see what shows up here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to follow the get started steps. We're just gonna use the web get started steps. We are going to install Posthog and then add it. So we'll just copy this code here. We'll go back to our code. We'll add it in in the index.js file and we'll also install Posthog. Great. Now we're going to go back to our page and we'll see we'll have some cookies there. So back in our page when we refresh we'll see that a cookie has been added with some of the information about us, like our distinct ID and some more data Posthog uses to track users across sessions. So this is fairly common for a lot of different products online, but for some, they don't wanna use cookies. So we're gonna show you how to do something different. So if you didn't wanna use cookies, you can set your persistence when you initialize Posthog to a couple of different options. The first one we'll show you is local storage. So we'll just add persistence local storage here, and this will store our data to local storage. The one caveat about local storage is that it doesn't work across domains. So if you had app.posthog.com and posthog.com, you would have to initialize posthog and the data that goes with your users on each of them separately. So back in our React app, when we clear this cookie here, we can refresh. We see that a cookie hasn't been added, but when we go to local storage, all our data is here in local storage, including our distinct ID and other key data about this user. So this will allow Posthog to get this data and then associate events um, with this user. So the other way to track without cookies is using memory. So we'll switch this to memory. The challenge with memory is that it saves the data only to the page memory and every time a page is refreshed, uh, data has to be regenerated. So if you aren't identifying your users in some way, they'll get new IDs every single time they load the page. So now let's go back to our main app and see what this looks like in the cookies and local storage. So back on the main page, we'll see that when we refresh the page, neither cookies nor local storage will generate more data. This is because we've set the persistent to memory. We can remove our cookie banner here and just use our internal identification system with memory to still track users well. So that is all the ways you can track users without cookies in Posthog. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or join our support community at posthog.com slack. You can also check out a variety of other tutorials we have at posthog.com slash tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.